thing about me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, really, thank you, thank you for for the introduction. Uh, my voice a little bit hoarse because I had practice this morning, so so bear with me. Um, but first of all, thank President Nelson and, and thanks Mark, um, you know, for, for for entrusting me with running your men's basketball program. I mean, I can't can't thank you enough for being here uh, today. Um, it's a dream come true for me. You know, before I get started, I got to thank my wife and my kids, Cassie, Bailey, and Maddie. I can't can't leave them out. But anytime you take a job. Um, it's not just me. It's about your family as well. And I needed to go somewhere where I was, where I was going to be comfortable and, and my family is going to be comfortable. So thank you guys for helping me make this decision um, easy uh, and smooth sailing. Um, you know, we, we've always wanted to come back to California in the right situation. You know, I was in a, I was in a good spot at Oklahoma. Uh, had no reason to leave unless it was for a great opportunity. Um, and when you see Sac State, after being in NorCal for a long time, I just thought it was somewhere uh, that was untouched, somewhere that could really blossom. Um, and knowing my relationship with Coach, uh, with Mark, uh, knowing the vision of the president uh, was something I couldn't turn down. Um, I've been blessed and fortunate to coach at the highest level. Mark touched on it. Um, and doing that, I've been able to learn from the best in the business, in, in my opinion. Um, I just want to uh, touch on some of those guys. Uh, coach J.P. Piper, he was my high school coach. He was my first person I worked for over at Nichols State. Um, he taught me about doing more with less and getting stuff done and no excuse. Um, it's one of the reasons I'm standing here today. Uh, Coach Randy Bennett at St. Mary's just really taught me how to build program, how to build team, and how to build a program and make it last. Um, he's someone I talk to probably weekly. I feel like I still work for him. But, uh, you know, he's somebody I heard oh, passionate to me. And any, any job decision I've made, I've run it by him. And when this job came up, he told me to run to Sac State. He thought it would be a great fit for me and, and great synergy with me and Mark. Um, coach Johnny Jones is now the head coach at Texas Southern. Um, he was my boss at LSU. Um, he recruited me in high school when he was at LSU, but he taught me about relationships and building bridges in community and, and recruiting. Um, but somebody I hold dear and dear to our family. Um, coach Jamie Dixon, he taught me toughness, grit, rebounding, def defense. Like Jamie's one at the highest level, probably be in the Hall of Fame, uh, but taught me that defensive rebounding helps win championships. And, uh, you know, he's doing a great job over there at TCU. Um, Coach Eric Musselman, you guys are probably familiar with him from Nevada. I work with him at Arkansas. Energy and passion, you know what he's about. I probably don't tweet as much as him, but he's, he's as energy and passion every day in practice and something I try to instill in my student athletes. And then last but not least, Porter Moser. Um, you know, he just demanded culture. He, we, we took over a program in Oklahoma that was in a good spot, but the way he talked about culture, and that's a term that's spat about every day, but he lived it daily in everything we did. And I hope to bring that here, here to Sac State. Um, people say, why Sac State? You know, why would you take Sac State? You're at a Power 5 job. You know, take this job, take that job. And I've been blessed to be given opportunities to take jobs, but I had to take the right job. You know, I wasn't in a bad position, like I said, but I see this place as being somewhere you can compete for Big Sky Championships yearly. And uh, it's why I came here. It's the synergy I talked about. Uh, with Mark and President Nelson and their vision. When you look at what football is doing with Coach Taylor, when you look at what, what Coach Campbell's doing over at women's basketball in just a year, and watching their baseball program and seeing their track program, the success they're having, why not us in men's basketball? Why not here? Um, this isn't a stepping stone job for me. You know, I got two girls that are 10th grade and 6th grade. We're not trying to jump spots. You know, if you look at my resume, I've kind of moved a little bit the last uh, year or two, but that's not what we're about. We're about staying somewhere and st staying here to make it last. Um, so that's why, that's why I came here. You know, the city of Sacramento, like we're big on diversity and being somewhere where we can grow as a family, uh, where our student athletes can come in and enjoy. And the city's been phenomenal. You know, the, 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 uh, the people on campus, they've been so welcoming. I mean, it's a family environment and that's important to me. I've been in enough institutions where I know the difference between non-family and family and, and, and you've created that here uh, amongst your campus and that's huge for me. And then the student athletes that I got to be around, you know, uh, some of them are here today. Um, the previous staff left great character here, man. Like, th th that's where it starts at. The talent is one thing, but high character kids is what you want to be around, and they're at Hatton Place here. I had enough people to call and know enough people I in the region uh, to give me some background on the players that we had or the student athletes we had. And all of them said high character kids. I can get the players. That's not the hard part. It's the character. It's guys that, that want to win and guys that want to win at a high level. And we'll do that here. I promise you that. Um, the recruiting part. We're going to recruit from the inside out. We'll recruit here locally 
and then build out from here nationally and internationally. Um, we've already been able to do that uh, in probably three days here. You know, it's, uh, it's an easy selling point here when you come into this city um, and see this campus itself. So um, I just can't thank you enough for being your, letting me be your head coach, Mark. And uh, I promise you we'll win a lot of games here over at Sac State. Stingers up. <laughs> we'll open it up for questions for Coach Patrick. If you raise your hand.